Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at a kit on the table today. This is the ANS Gear Basic Protective Kit. So if you need a couple things to kind of get you through the day, maybe you're just getting involved or you've got some smaller players who are just getting in, interested in paintball, and you want to give them a little bit more confidence when they're out on the field, protective gear is a great option. I mean, it's a great option for anybody who's out there playing, but this is a great way to just get involved and take away some of that fear uh, factor, the pain factor, and just boost the, the, the joy of playing because you're not worried about getting shot and it hurting. So the, there's three parts of this basic protective kit. We're going to have the chest protector, the gloves, and the neck protector. So we're going to kind of cover the stuff that's up on the top section right here. The chest protector is that basic sandwich board style chest protector where we've got two straps at the bottom, one and two. That opens up and allows you to basically you just put this over your head kind of like a sandwich board. It's going to cover you on both sides. And then you're going to wrap this around the front to secure it around the, the, the front of you. Now, these are non-adjustable on the top right here. And I mean, they're pretty much, I'm going to say adult sized, but you can really kind of snug them down and make them smaller if you need to. And you can overlap them top and bottom if you need to. So if you have smaller kids or smaller players, you can make it work for them and just give them that little bit of extra um, safety right there, that little extra confidence. Uh, so the chest protector padded on both sides. It's basically the same thing front and back, just the front has a little bit of a warrior symbol on the front right there. And then these will wrap around. And if we need to bring them around even further, obviously we can do that. And I mean, that's a pretty narrow little spot right there. So that's a, a small little chillin' if you wanna put one on there. Um, if you're bigger, obviously these are elastic, so they do stretch, so you can wrap them around your body. Chest protectors, that's a must right there. Uh, neck protectors, I definitely recommend these if you're just getting involved. It is not fun to get shot in the neck. I'm not going to lie to you about that. That does not feel good. So having one of these around to basically protect your neck from getting shot, it's going to take a lot of the welts and the soreness uh, out of getting shot there potentially, because eventually it will happen. You just it's a matter of time as the one it does. So you've got some venting right here. So you got holes cut in it. That's going to help just keep you nice and cool. It's going to actually make it flex a little bit easier too. So it's not so stiff. Nice thing about this neck protector is it is already pretty flexible right there. I've seen some of these that are very stiff and very uncomfortable to wear. These are not them. These have a nice cutout right here. So, you know, it's kind of ergonomically designed to fit around your body. So even when you are moving and you do feel it pushing against you, it still is pretty comfortable to wear. And then that just wraps around the back with some Velcro to protect yourself right there. And then last over here, we've got hard shell gloves. These are small, medium gloves. Nice thing about these hard shells is, as the name says, they have a hard shell on them. Let's get this one off of here so you can see this right here. So it's a basic glove. It has really nice padding through the bottom right here. Uh, it also has this elastic that you can pull around there. Now these are small, medium, so they're going to be real tight on me right here. But let me get my hand in there anyway and put that around there. So a little bit short on the wrist area for me. I'm going to bring this around. Uh, but the padding, there's, there's padding all through the bottom right here, padding up on the front. Backside is where the padding really, really is. So you've got a hard backed glove right here, but it's not solid. You can see that there are cutouts in the back of it. So if something was to hit it, it can collapse down and compress, but still give you that protection on the back of your hand because you will get shot in the back of your hand too. It's a guarantee in paintball. You're going to get shot in the neck one day. You're going to get shot on the top of the head one day, and you're going to get shot in the back of the hand or the fingers one day. It will happen. So whether you get that protection, that's a nice thing. Uh, padding all the way through the thumb, padding up through here, but having this hard backing really, really takes away that sting of getting shot in the fingers because um, your hands are going to be wrapped around your marker. And so this is the part of your hands that are typically mostly exposed. So that's where you get shot a lot of the time. So having that hard surface on the back really takes that impact away and takes that pain out of there. Plus having some padding on the bottom. So if you're crawling or doing whatever, it, it's a nice feature right there. Um, so three things in this kit, the basic protective kit, the hardback gloves, 
must right there for for first starting players neck protector definitely a must chest protector definitely a must these things are essential for getting involved and getting the confidence of the player out there eventually you'll probably move away from it and maybe you won't need it or maybe you'll wear it forever i don't know uh, but it's something to definitely start with ans gear basic protective kit the chest protector the neck protector and the hardback gloves are available through the website orders now through ansgear.com